Fed up of paying a taxi 60 baht to meet your friends just to eat a 40 baht meal? Have you had enough of struggling to get home with your shopping on a packed song thou? Is getting covered in sweat from cycling in the midday sun getting you down? So you've finally realised it's time to get a motorbike. But look at all the options out there. Where do you even begin? So let's take a look at some of the newest choices available to you. Maybe you see yourself cruising alongside the beach on a Vespa like Luca. A scooter could be for you. Or maybe you need to rush about town on a sturdy Honda Cup like Natsumi. That a semi-automatic is for you. Or perhaps you are dreaming of hitting the mountains of northern Thailand on a motorbike. Back you on style. Once you've decided on your style, are you going to buy, rent or get it on the never never? I'm mainly going to discuss buying new vehicles, but renting may prove a better short term option. An alternative for those here long term may be to take out a rent to own credit deal for a second hand bike. Let's take a look at some of the basic pros and cons of each class. Scooters. Twist and go. Nippy. Lots of underseat luggage space. Easy to park. They're a great town bike. However, they have small petrol tanks and this means if you go in any distance you might be having to stop quite a lot to fill it up. Also their small wheels may get caught in potholes. Semi-automatics. Reliable, easy to fit, can carry a whole family on them. They tend to have smaller engines and you also need to change gears. And even though they're clutchless, you may prefer the twist and go of a scooter. Motorbikes. These generally give you a better ride, especially for longer distances. They have larger tanks for a greater range, safer cornering, there's better suspension for comfort. You can change the gears to suit the driving conditions. This is especially useful in the mountains. The drawbacks of motorbikes, changing gears in start-stop town traffic can be tiresome. Their bigger size means that they can be more difficult to park and navigate through traffic. If you're unsure of the best option, then rented out a few different models for a few days at a time may give you a better understanding of things. Buying second hand can usually save a lot of money, but there is a microchip shortage at the moment, and this means that new bikes aren't leaving the production line. You'll often see popular models, such as the Yamaha Aerots, for sale at very high prices. For example, I have seen a year old model with 5,000 kilometers on the clock for only a few hundred dollars less than they cost new. Okay, let's take a look at some of the models that you can easily get your hands on in Thailand. I start with the scooters, then move on to the semi-automatics, and then finish with their motorbikes. I tried to get the latest information available. The currency conversion used was 34.56 baht to the US dollar. The scooters and smaller motorbikes are initially ordered by CC and then by cost. Brands making bigger bikes are ordered alphabetically. Scooters. Honda Scoopy. Honda Zuma X. Suzuki Nets Crossover. Yamaha Fino, Yamaha GT125, Honda Click, Yamaha Fazio, Honda Lead, Yamaha Cubits, Yamaha Grand Falano Hybrid Connected, Vespa Alets, Lambretta V125, Vespa S, Vesilia 150, GPX Sim Drone 4V, Pujo Django, Vespa Primavera, Vespa Sprint ABS, Yamaha Aerots, Yamaha NMAX Connected, Honda PCX 160, Honda ADV, Lambretta V200 GP, Aprilia SRGT 200 Sport, Lambretta X300, Kiray GT270, Vespa GTS Supersport 300, Vespa SEI Duani 300, Yamaha X Max Connected, Honda Forza 350, Suzuki Bergman 400 M2, Yamaha T Max 539,000 baht, Semi Automatics, GPX Rock, GPX Pops 110, Honda Wave 110i, Honda Cub, Suzuki Smash 115FI, Yamaha Finn, Honda Wave 125i, GPX Pops 125, Honda CT125, small and common motorbikes seen in Thailand. Suzuki Crossover, Honda MSX Grom, Honda Monkey, Kawasaki KLS 140, Suzuki Raider R150FI, 
Suzuki GSX S150, Suzuki GSX R150, GPX Demon 150, Honda CBR 150R, Honda CB 150R, Yamaha Exciter 155, Yamaha XSR 155, Yamaha MT 15, Yamaha WR155R, Yamaha R15 Connected ABS, Kawasaki W175, GPX Raptor 180, GPX Demon GR200R, Suzuki Van Van 200, Kawasaki KLX 230SM, GPX Legend 250, Suzuki Gitsa SF, Kawasaki Z250, Honda CBR250RR SP, Kawasaki KX250, Kawasaki W250, Honda CBR300R, GPX MAD300, Kawasaki vs X300, Yamaha MT-03, Yamaha YZF R3, major motorbike brands in Thailand. Aprilia, Benali, BMW, Ducati, GPS, Harley Davidson, Honda, Kawasaki, Kiro, KTM, Royal Enfield, Suzuki, Triumph, Yamaha. I hope that you now have a better understanding of the options out there. In a future video, I'll show you how to go about getting a Thai driving license. Until then, thanks for your time. Likes and subscribes are much appreciated.